Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Wow, this is the last lesson for June. July, sorry, not June. July, um, um, this uh, whole entire, what do you call this, um, this month of the, the teachings and learnings and whatever you call it. Wait, huh? All right, so nice. Thank you for turning on the camera. So let's go to the lesson now. Hey, by the way, uh, just a quick one. Uh, your aura over already, uh? Raymond? Uh, for me, no. Mine's not next Tuesday. That means this coming Tuesday, 1st of August? Uh? Hmm, yes. Wang Kang? Oh, same as Raymond. Oh, uh, Gavin? Over already. Okay, what was the topic? Maybe you want to share with the class, please. Oh, my, my own first day, so it's NS. National service, ah? Yeah. Oh, so what do you say? How do you say? I say, uh, did you for discuss, the... la? don't say say, like, what kind of discussion did you make? Did you show you a, a group of army personnel training, is it? Yeah, like wow. doing push ups on it. Yeah. Uh, they say, hey, remind me of the our boys to men. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you tell? Okay, um, the question is like, what? Uh, who are the people watching? So, someone like that. Okay. Who do you think the people are watching? And why? What feelings they have? What thoughts they have? That sucks, law. Who want to go NS when I can do other things? Hmm. You say that? No. <laughs> uh, you say sucks, uh, lousy, and then good luck to you. Uh. You know, your eye uh, It sounds like S, uh, national, uh, it sounds like social study. Uh. You realize that? Uh? Last, the second day was talking about a group of children, or uh, is it education? Uh? Can't remember. The old man one. The, the second thing was the my elderly brother. doing the weight thing. Is it Jim? Mm. I can't remember. Uh, I think it's the weak one. The, the, the elderly making the weight. The elderly making the what? Jia Fa. Oh, weak. Uh, oh, Jia Fa. We, okay, okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, all the best to the two of you. I think maybe over already is talking about case. That's what he say. Okay. Okay, that's 160%. Uh, are you having your WA or William now? The three, four of you know, right? No, right? Raymond? Did I call you? Me, yes. For you, yes. Hey, did I go through your paper already, Raymond? Yes, right? Wait, the no, homework. I don't think so. Homework, homework. Huh? Sorry? Raymond, don't have a... I don't think so. Wang Kang? Uh, yeah, you went last week. You went through yours already, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's talk about this one, the budgets, the amount of money. Ah, some of you, uh, your parents or whoever might get these budgets, uh, GST voucher budgets. I got mine. Uh. Wait, uh. Okay, the budget. We are talking about the budget. Let's go to the budget now. Share. We go to, aha, uh -huh, here. So what could you do the budgets got to do with social study and got to do what you need to learn? Now let's talk about the real life. Uh, Raymond, Gavin, Mian Mian and uh, Wang Kang. Now, after your own level, your parents say, okay, girls and boy, okay, I think it's time for you to go out and get some part-time job. Okay, and then uh, whatever you want to buy. Uh, last year, I got one student, he saved about work, he worked in my friend's shops for some retail. She saved about five, six hundred for that particular two months of uh, part-time job before she go to go to GC. Okay. Um 
Yeah, after that, I asked him, what, what do you want to do with this money? He told me that he want to buy a specialized, customized keyboard, specially designed for himself for gaming. I said, okay, fine. So I asked the next question, what is your budget? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. All right, so I, I he told me it's about five six hundred dollars. So now may I ask Raymond? Now if you are doing part time, mm, yes. what is your budget? Do, do you want to get something that you know sometimes you ask your parents, they will not buy for you? Mm, well, I never actually had this this type of situation before, lah, because all my requests are pretty reasonable and I wouldn't like ask for like super high budget stuff. But now, now let's say you want to buy something. Okay, maybe, okay, thank you so much. You are so such a good boy. So what happened if now, let's say you want to buy something in, to pay back uh, your kindness to your parents. So you mm -hmm. want to buy something. I, I'm not saying don't buy for your dad. Uh. Let's say buy for your mom first and buy your dad. So mm -hmm. what do you do? What kind of budget would you buy for your mom and dad? Mm, our, if it's for my parents, I think... Mm, I'm starting a lesson yes. now. Huh? I'm really mm. using my this this topic to use for your real life. Huh? Yes, sorry. Oh, uh, if it's for my my parents, right? I wouldn't like actually buy like super high budget items, considering the fact that I'm still a student and this may affect their perception of me. So I will buy. My budget will be somewhere around like at most like one thousand to two thousand. Oh, hey, hey, brother, one can. At first, I thought the budget is like, I won't be very high. Can I eat 200? Wow, 1,000 or 2,000. Hey, that's a good one. You hear that? Wow, that's really very nice. I love my mother. I thought her budget is not very high. Maybe 50 or 100. Wow, 1,000 or 2,000. My respect to you. Not sarcastic, huh, Raymond. I thought you were going to say that your parents are 1,200. Then I will give my girlfriend $1,000. I don't think so. I'm just kidding. Okay, why you put such a high budget for your parents? Hmm? To me, it's it very high. Eh? Oh, one time and Gavin, you agree now? Very, very, very high. Eh? Yeah, Raymond. Mm. What? Well, uh, if you ask me the question, why, right? Uh, mm. Mm, I mean, my parents would uh, like it's very not not like normal for uh for it's like contributing back like not. What am I talking about? Yeah, like, I just don't know what you're talking. <laughs> okay, are you okay? Are you uh, very stressed? Ah, uh, 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 yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty. Uh, I think I'm suffering from anxiety because like recently I had a lot of stuff to do. Oh, never mind. Later, I'm gonna bring you to go kai kai. You know it's kai kai now. No. You know it's kai kai. Now. <laughs> 去逛逛街，逛街开开就是 in Hokkien is like something like go. Show shopping, relax. Okay, go for a secret path. Go disco, that and dance, drink some beer. Okay, ah, Anna. Gavin will look at me, Uncle. You're sick, ah. Sentient being. Raymond, under age, how can he go go smoking, go clubbing, go drink beer? Okay, all these are bad things, ah, Raymond. Don't need anxiety. Come on, relax. Don't need to stress. You're doing well, man. Damn it. The person who is not do very doing well is not you, ah. Uh. The ones is not did not turn on the camera. That that person is not doing well. I'm very sad. The person not doing well. Relax, uh, Raymond. If you need help, come to my friends' uh, grassroots club. We can have a cup of ice cream. Okay. Uh, oh. okay. Thank thank you so much. Nah, I don't want to stress you any more questions. Move on to Kelvin. So, uh, what kind of budget would you like to buy for yourself? You let's say whatever you ask, ah, uh, you don't want to get from your parents. But you have to use your own money to do. Probably like, uh, hundred dollars. Ah, one hundred dollars. Ah, 请问你买什么？买 Pokemon 啊？买那种，呃，呃 ，just just buy some like merchandise or something. <laughs> okay, okay. To pamper yourself, lah.、Huh? Yeah. I'm asking all these questions is relevant. Ah,、huh? okay, okay. Thank you. That's all. Ah,、huh? Wang Kang, what about you? Uh, around fifty to hundred dollars. 这么吝啬啊！你 ，stingy girl 啊！你，这样子 buy fifty dollars, hundred dollars to pamper yourself 啊
Oh, yeah. Let's say your part-time job, uh, you are earning $1,000 for two months uh, before your O-level. Uh, sorry, sorry. Before your A-level start. Uh, okay. A-level usually is in February. Uh, okay. So maybe November, you don't want, you go relax, enjoy. Like maybe say you go back to China, relax, fine. So December, you start to work. Then January, you start to work. Then Chinese New Year, Happy New Year. Then after that, you start your study. So two months are uh, two months. Oh, I think I will like save up for like future users because I don't have much things I want to buy now. Mm, okay, thank you very much. What is TF, uh, Mimi? What does TF mean? Uh? You are scrolling me, huh? Yeah. What is TF, uh, Gavin? Mimi say TF to uh, you. Accidentally. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah. What is TF means, uh? Gavin? Gavin! I don't know what is TF, uh, never mind. If you don't tell me, uh, I will go and find out. Okay, Mimi, what is your budget now? Uh, if after, like, say, over level, I know you go to China, uh, but of course, you would like to buy certain things to your Yeye Nai Nai back in China. What would your budget be? Oh, like, it depends on what they want, I think. Never mind, never mind. This is like a singing, singing, huh? okay, the singing. Ah, uh, uh, oh. depend on what you want. Unless your nana say, I am so I quite soon, yeah, why you have a Tesla car? Of course, huh? okay, yeah, my toy thing, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, singing, singing, how much? Uh, uh, I think a few hundred dollars. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, fair. Okay, the uh, reason that asked very simple. Recently, the government has given out money to Singaporean and PR based on their family background, based on their income level, based on their number of people staying in the house, based on uh, the how much taxes and contributions to the, the, the society, to Singapore. So just now, women, 1,000, 2,000, because they are parents, correct now, fair enough. Uh, Gavin say uh, maybe fifty um, hundred dollars. I don't know much money to buy. Yes, fair enough. Same Wanka say I don't know. I want to keep it for a rainy day. Yes, all this money uh, is all come from. Okay, I mean, it also depends on what they want. I'll see what to give. So you come, please. You see, there are so about five million Singaporean in this in this country. Some people say seven hundred dollars not enough. Five hundred dollars also so little. Two hundred worse. Or even you give one thousand, they also complain the government gives so much money. So the amount of money the government need to spend per year is all depends. Like now the car COE is so expensive. Uh, houses are getting expensive. GST are increasing, and then and then a lot of things are, are like even now plastic bag also must pay five cent. Or some even now buy the tapa also had to spend one ten cent for the, the container or the plastic, all these things. I go dong dong donkey and buy, and then I want to have a recycle bag, it cost me one dollar. All these ladies and gentlemen, you realize that uh, Raymond, okay. I want to reduce your anxiety. When you think of buying something for your parents, was there an anxiety for it? Let's be honest. Mm, well, not really. No, uh, confirm, right? So it's mm. just only a dilemma, right? A, a kind of to you, Wayne, what to buy, correct? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Huh? So Gavin and Wang Kang and Mimi also the same, right? There's no anxiety or no worry that what. So you really have the money. So now you understand every country has a budget, a budget located for a lot of things, of people. Same thing. Raymond, don't mind. Uh, since, uh, thank you so much for sharing with me. Uh, because recently I just realized you're not your real self. Okay. Uh, used to be, I know, anxiety because you are worried for your result. You still worry for unnecessary. Uh. It's very sorry to use to your face, very stupid. Uh. Okay, it's not like those students, uh, like I said, I'm a kid, 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 I'm a just like the one recently just turned on the camera. Uh, while well, she always complained, well, this cannot, cannot. Then slowly now, you see, uh, she's more confident the way she talks. She can argue with me and say, I got no hair. I got so like uh, so old man, so ugly. Uh, this is what I want to see. Remember, the more if you have anxiety, uh, then don't go for university. Uh, I go to your right, to your face. Okay, not, not, not worth it. Okay, the more your anxiety, you're killing more brain cell. Okay, so now my, my advice to all of you, get a timetable and plan Monday, Tuesday, the, until Sunday, what to do. That's why we talk about budget. So just like Raymond, a country got so much bu budget, that means the money. You see, we are not in Australia, America, uh, China, or even big country. We have, they have natural resources, right? How one come? But Singapore, the only resources is humans. So the government depends on the human to pay taxes, the personal tax and corporate tax and GOE and GST and blah, 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 all kinds of taxes to get the money and give out and distribute to the fellow Singaporean and PR. 
right? So one kind of, sometimes you got this budget. So you see the government had this issue. You're going to study econs if you're going for A-level, whereby they'll tell you this amount of money, are you going to spend on educations, defense, or infrastructure, or build more roads, or build more factories, or build more houses, HDB, or BTO? So this is what you're talking about here. Okay, there's a debate going on. So same thing. Uh. So one kind of, when you are asking you this question inside your body, uh, there's two person talking. So what should I buy? What should I not buy? What kind of budget I have? Should I reserve some of the money for future use for a living day? So that is a, a debate. And debates go on. It's a supply. So you need to supply your money to what you're going to buy later on. So you think, hey, I don't need to buy so much. I keep one side. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know, uh, thanks to Singapore government, uh, who saves billions of dollars uh, during the COVID-19. You agree? Uh? I'm not sure about your parents. Uh, did your parents receive any in money? Subsidies here and there, right? You guys receive that. Uh, and then you realize that uh, one kind, Raymond, Gavin and Raymond, do you all have this PLD? Uh, what is called that? Personal Learning Device. Learning uh, device. Device, right? Raymond. Ah, ah, this is the government. Right? Right? We have to. You have to pay that, but you don't have to pay so much, right? Great. Hey, you are lucky. No? You ask, ask your friend, ask your friend who are not studying in Singapore, do they have this benefit? No? Do you have any friend that is not staying in Singapore? I have students from, from India tell me uh, they have to buy so exorbitant and so expensive. Like. You get it? No? So you all got this edu save. Right? Are you all Singaporean, right? You all got edu, edu save or what? Don't have. Uh? You have, right, Raymond? Have, uh? Uh, one kind, you ma? May you giving you ma? Gavin, can you stop playing your game now? Look at me. You ma, sing and you can't go one gang shin. Gavin, do you have EduSay award now? Uh, not, not this few years. How come? Yeah, that means you're not saying I, I had lah, I had. No, no, you know what is EduSay now? It's not the, 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 the eager awards there. Eh? Hmm. Let go of. Okay, let go of you. Okay, why why you hold his hand? Are you a pervert? Like study to study. I hope you you learn your TT so much. Your spectacle really too much. You so maybe you also have some. No, you do save. Oh, and you save is the money that save inside. I didn't know. Ah, uh, that day my elder son said he got this money. Yeah, uh, and then he can use it. Now he's a twenty eight years so old. He still got money inside the edu save, and some money in your edu save. If I'm not wrong, ah, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Then he can use this money to upgrade his skills. So Raymond. Since you got edu save award, all these things, the money is preparing you for your future studies already. All right? And all these uh, come from taxpayer money, including your parents who pay taxes. Okay? So the budget is also debated, okay? As we pass down. And so these are the three levels. Please take note. Huh? I think I mentioned this before. So once the budget passed down, like during the COVID, the three years, they got this solitary budget uh, and then uh, um, United budgets or, or what called independence budgets or pioneer budgets, all these budget comes in. I can't remember what budget. And all these billion, a billion of dollars there where the presidents of Harima Yaakob approve and give the money up together. On one count, that is the time when before I joined AJLC, or was it the year I joined JLC, uh, the government paid me to take a diploma course of in F and B every six for six months for a certain amount of money, and I got my cert. These are all the taxpayer money. These are the money that is a budget allocated. So guys, if you don't want to go for further study, my advice is if you, no, so, sorry, not further study. Why am I talking? If you want to go for further study and if you don't feel like working part-time, please tell your parents to take out some courses. Trust me. Because even you are going for university or, or, or diploma or, or, or A-level, most of your classmates are also as equally good than you. So the only thing to be tingti to lead the rose among the thorns, you must learn something that your parent, your, your, your fellow classmates don't learn or your schoolmates. Okay, seriously, to take out some courses like maybe third language or maybe some courses that Python, you know it's Python, right? Python programming or chat GPT or all these are uh, uh, cyber security. Yes, this is a hot topic. It really help you. Trust me. Because when you go for interview in, uh, in, um, in G, uh, university, they ask you, what do you do? I always love to upgrade myself. I always have a budget for myself to upgrade. I tell you, uh, confirm uh, the professor and lecturer will love you so much. Trust me. Because lifelong learning. Okay. So, okay, that's as I continue here. Then they carry out the law and then they administrate it. 
it's the same thing. Your parents might control the budget for you to go for further study, then you are the one to execute it, and then finally you get a degree. Okay. Now take note of all these are uh, the school for to for 16 ministry in Singapore. You need to know all these. Uh. Please no need to memorize. Okay, the very common one, of course, is Ministry of Education, Ministry of uh, Defense, uh, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Environments. This one is the police. If you see home affair, it's got to do with police. Just go one by one. Uh. Ministry of Communications, you know what is that? Uh. Okay, and then uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, is health is, of course, talking about health, about COVID-19, putting on masks. Uh, MD, MMT, I can't remember what is that. Ministry of, I can't remember. This manpower, you know what? Uh. That means you guys cannot work. Uh, if you are under student pass, uh, you cannot work in Singapore. It's an offense. But uh, Wang Kang, eh, Wang Kang and uh, Wang Kang, you're not Singaporean, is it? Are you? No. Okay, Gavin, you're Singaporean, right? Uh, so Raymond and Gavin, you may have a chance, uh, 16 years old, you are able to work as a part-timer. For those who are in student pass, by right, you are totally cannot work, uh, if I'm not wrong. Okay? So if you get caught, it's quite a serious offense. So student pass, unless you get approval and, and permission, uh, of course. Ministry of Law, no need to say. Uh. Ministry of Home, uh, this one will be. Ministry of um, Social Family Development side. It's like some family dispute, uh, some children who cannot find a home, orphanage. Okay. Uh, Ministry of um, Industrial, Ministry of Transport, and Ministry, uh, this is a Prime Minister Office. Okay. All stated here already. Uh. Just take a look quickly. Okay. I don't want to go through. Okay. Just a quick one. Oh, so in Ministry of National Development, so yeah, correct, MND. Ministry of Trade, okay. Some of you, if your econ is very good in A level and go further study for economics, huh, you may land out a government job like this one. It's a very, very good perspective for you, huh? seriously, MTI. It's a very good, and especially of Ministry of Finance. If you are going in math and accounting, please. Okay, I'm definitely not confirmed. I'm not confirmed. I definitely will not go for these two places, maybe manpower. Because my math is so good that I don't want to go there. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. My DYDI is very good. So, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Communication, Environment, okay, Water Resources. Why they separate it? Because water is the most critical thing in Singapore. Without water, it's going to be a big issue in Singapore, right? So, Ministry of Culture, and this one are all we do with the race, uh, racial harmony days and social development. Okay, I talked about it. Women affairs, gambling of safeguard, family policy. Okay, so ju judiciary is uh, to do with the law. So you need to know three things, uh, Supreme Court, State Court, and Family Court. Of course, the Family Courts what we talk about is family dispute, like husband and wife divorce, or husband beat out the wife, ask, wife ask for protections, and things like that. Supreme Court is usually of the death case, um, like drugs, all these things, death sentence. So you know, recently got this girl in Singapore, was it on Wednesday? She was hanged after 20 years, uh, she's the first woman to hang after 20 years because of drug issue. And of course, people will say against it, like, ah, yeah, Singapore, why you see so inhumane, uh, so cold brothers hang a, a, a person who sells drugs less than it is very in a, in a marginalized, the, the possibility for her to sell drugs is not possible because maybe because she was forced and all these things, you should pardon her. Sorry, no, no. There's a Supreme Court. Once you put down the death sentence, it's very hard to revoke that no death sentence of life imprisonment. Very hard. They stay caught. I think, uh, Raymond, you can ask your parents, uh, correct me, but this one is very interesting. I love to study all these things. Huh? So the law makes the legislation and uh, interpreted, interpreted and applies by the judiciary. So the judge will, like this guy, the Chief Justice, okay, Mr. Suresh Menon, he's still serving the... Uh, Chief Justice is the main. So any law, any things, she ha he has to make good, a big decision together with Mr. Shamugan, uh, the law minister. Okay, so you take note of this three. In case your uh, source page question comes out on this, you need to know roughly what are they from. Okay, this is the highest court order. order. That means in case of doing drugs or murder case or terrorist case, okay? So high court deals with all the civil monitoring amount above a certain value and criminal case offenses publishable by death or with imprisonment if existing 10 years. So these are high court. High court means it's the really high, the mean the chief justice will involve in this court case. 
the court of appeal, of course, these are like not say petty crime, but maybe a crime less than 10 years, or maybe some are like uh, um rioting, no, I think maybe it's high court, uh, like stealing or things like that, or, or, or fighting or whatever you call it. Uh. So international court, of course, is a dispute, uh, especially during the Sparty Island, the China and the Russians, no Russian, China and, and Philippines, and which country? Taiwan also fighting for the, the Diao Yu Dao, right? You know about the Diao Yu Dao, right? Okay, the Sparty Islands, uh, well, they, they fight because they say, oh, this island belongs. But because of this island below, there's a lot of rich natural resources. So everyone wants to have a pile of it. Okay, subordinate court, uh, yeah. Okay, so you just to give you an idea, coronal uh, hearing as unexpected natural and death in okay, district court. There's a second level of court, huh? Okay, involved 18 years old and animal abuse also. So in case you see a soft state question asking about high courts or, or straight state courts talking about this case, that means you know where they come from, okay? Family dispute, of course, the, the word family tells you is deal with family. Okay, so the high court family courts are uh, dealing with family issue, okay? So, okay, this is a public. Uh, Kokoli, yeah, I miss, I miss Kokoli, yeah. Econs is uh, not necessarily a human, it, it can be a science subject. But uh, I don't know, I, I can't answer your this question, uh, because uh, Econs itself, my time is actually use it for humanity subject. But now my might be hybrid, uh. That means a science student also can take econs. So I'm not sure. I lost touch with the A levels, um, the way of criteria. Huh? Sorry, I lost touch. So I can't comment on this. So this is um, okay, feedback. As expressive, how whether the focus group are taking note of this. Huh? Uh, public consultation of uh, alcohol. So again, uh, put a poll there. So you realize that. Everyone have a voice, everyone has the voting right, everyone has talk about whether they support or not. And then this is a focus group that where you discuss the do's and don'ts, why do you think you should restrict, uh, do you think it support LGBT or not, or talk about whether uh, Singapore should pay uh, higher taxes on certain uh, expense of goods, like cigarettes and things like that, or, or alcohol, yes. Do you support measure to restrict retail sales hour for, for takeaway alcohol? So this is another survey. So focus group, focus group. Okay, the end of chapter two, right? Okay, good. So next month we'll be doing chapter three. Okay, next I would like to talk about. Okay, utility and usefulness. Okay. Uh, usefulness questions. Uh, I think somebody asked me, Uncle Mima, I'm still not very sure. Like, how to do usefulness utility questions? Okay. Uh, Mima, can you read to the class, please? Thank you. Uh, a, a, utility question, a utility question is an extension of a reliability question. You are required to check the reliability of the source and make a decision on how it is useful to your understanding of the issue raised in the question. Some students ask, is there a possibility, uh, maybe a hybrid, where usefulness, reliability, or usefulness, and, and, and uh, uh, with tones, or, or with, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, a purpose, or it's just um, by itself, or not related to reliability. Let me tell you, uh, usefulness is definitely a, um, a more higher end on this. Who is that, man? Oh, I mean. Okay, mute now. Okay, so let's move on. So you know, uh, a utility question as usefulness will definitely extend up with reliability check. So all sources are useful, but which source is reliable? Okay, let's talk about utility. Come, let's go, Mimin. How useful is source B? Uh, to your understanding of the contribution of the NUS in improving the healthcare of the British people. NHS stands for National Healthcare Scheme in England. Okay, there's NHS. Next one. Source B is by a British minister on the NHS in Britain. Does that mean it is biased and thus not useful to your understanding of the NHS? 
So if somebody tell you Uncle Rima is a gay, do you think so? Which source tells you? Is it the son, the, the daughter, the, the wife, or uh, Uncle Rima's ex students, or Uncle Rima's existing student, or Uncle Rima's best friend, or is it from ICA, or is it from the Singapore Police Force, or things like that? So is it useful or not? In fact, all sources are useful. I told you already, right? It depends on which sources has a limited what, uh, one come. See, you got to pay attention. Uh. Limited what? Uh, limited usefulness. Oh, limited reliability, sorry. Eh? You're right, correct. I <laughs> got you. Limited reliability, yes. Uh. You must have confidence. Uh. Ayo. You must say, yeah, correct. You must have confidence now. So, Raymond, the more anxiety you have, okay, that they they say you like Uncle Raymond tell Okay, let's go. Why do your eyes like this? Ah, huh, Mimi, huh? Why do you like this? Ah, you look closer. Then, you look like you're looking at your eyes. Ah, so pretty. You say you're looking at your eyes. Ah, looking at your eyes. You need to look like this. Ah, then you look closer. Then, you're looking at your eyes. Then, your eyes will look like you're looking at your eyes. Then, your eyes will look like you're looking at your eyes. Then, your eyes will look like you're looking at your eyes. Then, your eyes will look like you're looking at your eyes. Hospice is not about the British welfare state. Does it mean that it is useless to understanding of a welfare state? Explain your answer. Study source B. How useful, how useful is this source in understanding a need for a British welfare state? Ex explain your answer. So sometimes you might see a healthcare questions, but in a British context. Uh, take, take note, uh, children, if you want, you can write on the piece of paper. NHS, until today, as I'm speaking now, uh, 30th of July, 8.33 p.m., National Health Scheme is actually under the Britain. Until today, ah, uh, so you may be not surprised to receive a SBQ talk about the healthcare system in Britain, huh? Why well, something like that? Because there is these few things about the similarity of uh, um the healthcare in Singapore. Like for example, the the taxes, the the many say many share many funds, and you know as a British subject, you know you are free and you have free medications, medical supports. Okay, seriously, but maybe uh, let's go around. Uh, do you think ah? Uh, if you are a British now, let's say maybe you you, you migrate to Inguo, huh? then you become a British subject. Let's be serious. Ah, Chengfu, you you see doctor, you even one cent you don't have to pay. It's all the government paid. You think you think it's good? Huh? Let's be honest. Good, ah, huh? okay, fair, fair. Huh? Maybe thank you. Kevin, do you think it's good? Huh? Yeah, good for low income groups. Thank you. Ah, how about uh? Eh? Yeah, I think I have, I think I have something to add. Like I think it's good for me, but it's like bad. Um, bad for the locals. But you're locals. You're also the locals, my dear. You're also the locals. Ah, you you don't become British subjects. That means you are a British citizen already. You mean by my? I imagine maybe you are migrating to to London again. You don't answer, ma. Hello, me by ah, me me. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear? Okay, so. Uh, Wang Kang, do you think it's good? Oh uh? uh, no, people might like um misuse it, like they don't have very uh import very like emergency or very like serious problem, and then they still you go to see doctors. Oh, 就是哦，哎呀，我头痛，我头痛，我就去去看医生啊，看得到是不是这样的？哦，呀。啊，我 Medicine Square， 我 Medicine Square， I cannot， I cannot buy my Medicine Medicine in pharmacy. I go and see doctor and then get MC, something like that, ah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Gavin. What about you? Do you think it's good, huh? Yeah, I think it's good. Good, ah. Uh, why? Good for low income groups because they might not afford healthcare. Min Min. Okay. Thank you. Min Min, you see, I cannot touch my face. My touching my face, huh? Oh, oh. Okay. So it's good for for what? Repeat again, ah, uh, Gavin. 哎、欸，我跟你讲，宝贝，你把你头发梳上向上去了，不然你掉一条线，我以为什么东西掉在你脸上。哦，你屁啊 ！Yes, we do. Okay, it's good for low income groups as they might not afford healthcare that easily. 嗯 ，Okay, thank you. How about you, Raymond? Do you think just now I wasn't here? Just now I disconnected. Oh, Raymond, let's say now you are no more Singapore citizen. Okay, you might need to return. Ah, uh, you might have mm. migrated to Britain, and now you are British subjects, a British citizen. Oh, and it's an option. All the EDU is free. Is it a good thing? Ooh, like everything is free. Ah, free, free, free. 就是说你的只要你的太太、你的孩子说全部都是在英国出生，在那边全部的的的 British ah、uh, passport 啊、uh, 
every yeah. day is free of charge. Do you think it's good? Uh? Mm, for some, yes, but I would say yeah, for uh, it will be mostly it will be mostly pretty useful. Uh. Why? Well, well, you see, in this case, right, uh, those who typically need the medical resources the most would get those resources pretty easily without, like, without having to work, without having to be financially struggling. Okay, fair enough. Huh? To be honest, huh? uh, I heard from my friend who stayed in England. Uh, when I was in England studying, uh, I asked them, uh, they were saying that, uh, well, it is good, they are free medical. Because let me explain to you NHS for a bit, things, uh, in case you, got, you, you, you managed to have these questions. Uh. Now, National Health Schemes was, uh, this topic was used for the old social study textbook five years ago. Okay? Yeah, five, six years ago. Okay? And um, they compare Singapore NHS, uh, no, sorry, they compare Singapore health system, uh, healthcare system with NHS. So what happened because they are all free, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they're all free. Because during World War II, all right, Gavin, you should know, uh, during World War II, when their grandfather and grandmothers fought the war, so in order to pay back their kindness, they give them free. Fair enough, uh, Raymond, fair, uh, because they do it for it. And if free become passed down to the son, the son of free passed down to the grandson. So now suddenly the government, uh, Raymond, if they want to take away this benefit, uh, Raymond, do you think as a grandson you feel good? Uh? No, right? Right, Raymond, you don't feel good, right? In fact, all of your answers are very good. Seriously, only it's beneficiary for low income. Okay, a few years ago in Singapore, uh, Raymond, Wankam, Mian and Gavin, a couple who can earn more than six figure a month, uh, okay, that means it's like both husband and wife earning 100,000. Uh. So to put the mother in the hospital, usually it's a uh, class walk A. You know what's walk A, right, Mei Mei? That means 四人房, uh, 就是一个人, uh. Okay, one, one person, one bedded, uh, 就是一个人, 就是有 aircon, you, you special nurse. Uh. 对吗? Fair, huh? Mama something, uh, 就是把她放在一个医院 with walk A. You know what happened, uh, Mei Mei? The both husband and wife put the mother in walk C. What C is a lot my mommy got subsidies. My mommy is under pioneer generations. So let the government subsidies. Hey, I don't understand what you're doing. If you and your husband or your wife is earning 100 over K per month, uh, per, yeah, per month, uh, 100K per month, uh, per month, uh, per month, uh, yeah, you are right. You are right. I'm so sorry to say you are right, Maybe They take advantage because you're Singaporean, ma, for subsidized one. You see, uh, what C uh, <coughs> what C is for? <coughs> because of what C are uh, for poor people, are uh, for people who cannot afford are heavily subsidized, at least 90% subsidized. So, one day, one hundred dollars is free. They only pay 10 dollars. But now, these rich couples, they put their mother in Watsi. But the government is still paying because the mother is uh, entitled for Watsi. But if the mother convert to Wat A, uh, that means the government will not subsidize for rich people for Wat A, right? So, the parents, no, the children have to pay the... the you know, uh, Imagine that, Mimi, to that walk, see, is 100 quite each year, no? To that, see, ren fan, no? One bed, no? Is 1,000 quite each year. 1,000 per day. So, Raven, <laughs> you know what I mean, So, what do you think when you see this correct, no? Same thing in that national health care system. They are abusing it, you are right. They are using advantage of it. It's nothing wrong. They are subject citizens. Don't forget, our one come. All the British people pay heavy taxes. You earn 10,000, you pay 40% tax. So you look at those football players who earn a lot of money. You know the, the British government will be laughing away. Oh, here comes the taxes. True enough. You see, in England, if you go to England, uh, all these places, you know there are things are very expensive because England are talking about pounds, okay?
Okay, let me go to the PowerPoint slide. I think I did not go to the PowerPoint slide. Okay, you're right. Next question, sir. Okay, this one done already. Now so let's see the example. Okay, study source G. How useful is this source in understanding the need for a British welfare state? Explain your answer. Please don't be surprised that you all have been studying Singapore healthcare system, Singapore healthcare system. Maybe in your old level, you might come up a, a healthcare system in Britain or in Switzerland, in Hong Kong, in other parts of the world. So they want to test your, your, your usefulness skills, for example. So let's read on this one. Uh, Gavin, can you read? A command by the British Minister of the State for Health. Do you think this is positive, negative, or neutral? Gavin? Positive. Positive? Let's read. Okay. We have more doctors and nurses than ever before and are shaping an NHS workforce fit for the future. Recruitment and retention measures are working and increased investment in training is succeeding too. All these developments contribute to a big overall improvement in the NHS. Increased funding, more staff, new ways of working, shorter waiting times and reduction in deaths from heart disease and cancer. We are meeting these challenges head on, but I know there is more work to do. While you're reading, I just remind me, uh, if you go to YouTube, uh, you can type Science for Kids, uh, K-I-D-S, Science for Kids, you will understand the British healthcare system very well. Because these two uh, doctors, uh, they are twins. How I know? Because during COVID, uh, Gavin, we cannot go out, right? So we we'll watch YouTube and here and there, right? And then uh, also Uncle Raymond was in YouTube doing my makeup class, how to make your hair to grow better. Uh. Uh, so one of my audience was maybe and I said, that's why you hate it. So the kids for science, okay, tells you the twins doctor uh, to share a lot of things, how the emergency work, how all these things works and things like that, okay? So let's see how it is, uh, let's go. <coughs> you look at this one, a cartoon on the British, <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness, cough again. A cartoon on the British welfare system by a British. So what do you think, Wang Khan? Positive, negative, or neutral? Uh, from a British point of view. Let me see. Huh? Negative. Maybe negative. Huh? Can you read the, 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 the whole thing, your injury? Your injury is more important to us. All our doctors are busy helping other customers. This way, you are advancing the queue. It will be seen as soon as a doctor becomes available. Realize that, man, man, just like I asked you, right? If magic is free, uh, so everyone will be queuing out. That means you see, uh, 老人受伤, the high, 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 as part and parcel of it, right? So you realize this, even uh, Singaporean, uh, if those people die, uh, they send to the hospital to check out all these cleaning, uh, you need to pay your services. So now what it means, uh, whether you're dead or alive, uh, everything free. So it's as good as one kind. Can you imagine how long is the queue? Can you imagine uh, to see a doctors? So it's like contradictory what uh, Gavin was reading, right? One kind and Raymond and Raymond that say, oh, don't worry, uh, we got a lot of doctors and nurses. Are they available to solve this kind of this small illnesses like this? Uh, to entertain. Uh? So what happened, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they came up with a system uh, where they would make a phone call and book the doctor first. If you have minor um, injuries or minor illnesses, please go to the nearest pharmacy, show your IC and tell the pharmacy you need this drug and you will, be, you will not be paid. Now you get it? Just like now, if, I'm not sure you all go to see doctors or in polyclinic or in the hospital, okay? Um, once you show the IC, do you know I, I usually go to see doctors in these two places? So sometimes they will give you max, give me medicine. So I got a few choice. Either I queue up for my medicines or I tell them I'm not going to queue up. Please deliver the medicine to my house, delivery. Or I don't want to get the medicine now. Hold on to it. I got too much medicine. They will help me to keep, okay? But last time, before this system was implemented, it's called technology. Eh? You die, die, you still have to get your medicine. You have to queue up and get the medicine. It's long queue because all of us Singaporeans are quite heavily subsidized. So the government say, hey, that's not right. Everyone will queue up. That means you prolong the queue. And then, you know, uh, in the hospital and polyclinic, there are also a lot of sick people. 
So by doing that, you're putting more, more stress to the workers, like the nurses and the pharmacists. So they decided to come with this system where, okay, we can deliver your medicine to your house. Or yes, you have enough medicine, I will keep for you. After that, you use your apps and download and say that, hey, my medicine is running out, please send the medicine to me. So the same thing as pretty sheer. So instead of everyone's they will send them, what is your temperature? What happened to you? Guys, you can watch signs for kids, you will understand. So when they call the emergency, what happened to this person? Uh, difficulty in breathing, kind of breathe fainted. Have you done your CPR? Uh, is the hand or feet cold and things like that? So it's, they walk through with you. Instead of you, everything called ambulance. Wow, can you tell me one million? Okay, so you understand, huh? So now what you're studying now, who knows? One of you might be in the health care system next time. Okay, uh, May Raymond. Can you read yeah. the <coughs> Study source G, how useful is this source in understanding the need for a British welfare state? Explain your answer. Based yeah. source, source G, it states that the British welfare system has a shorter waiting time. Source H, the cartoon shows that there's a long queue of people waiting to see the doctor. Including the date, huh? including the date. So you say a contradictory idea. Of course, the Prime Minister, you're right, huh? one card positive, right? I thought that one can when Mimi drinking, uh, when she saw my face like that, uh, she would blow out all the bubble from the bubble tea. <laughs> okay. Uh, one can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your stupid face will not make it very funny. Thank you. Carry on, sausage, please, Raymond. Actually, I'm not mean you to laugh, mm -hmm. no one can. Sausage. I want to make Raymond to laugh. Okay, Raymond, come. Sausage, the cartoon shows that there's a long queue of people waiting to see the doctor. Uh, Gavin, Gavin. 你等一下买一个菊花茶给Raymond,他声音好像私生了。Then <笑> uh, Gavin just sent a message to me, Uncle Raymond, Raymond不是私生, Raymond是很生, 什么生? 生气的生,因为他很stress的生, Okay, come. Uh, I don't want you to read too much already, uh, right? uh, Gavin! Read now! Okay. Source G is not useful in understanding the need for a British welfare state to a certain extent. This is because it's not reliable. Source G states that the British welfare system has shorter waiting time. This is not true as it is not supported by the cartoon in Source H, which shows there is a long queue of people waiting to see the doctor. As Source H does not support what is mentioned in Source G, Source G is not useful in its view about the British welfare state. I think I went through yours at uh, Raymond's that day, your homework. I'm not sure, maybe I marked. So that is, is the answer well done. Okay, carry on. Let me go and get your homework out. Okay, carry on. Also, as the source is by a British minister, he provides a biased impression. Obviously. Obviously, the, straightforward, yes. That the British welfare state is successful in stating that its queues are shorter and there's a reduction in the number of deaths. Nonsense, yes. In doing so, so he wants to, hey, uh, doing so he wants to ally the fears of British people regarding the inefficiency of the British welfare state. As this source is biased, it's not reliable and thus not useful to a certain extent. Though the source is not reliable, it can still be useful as it tells us that the government official thinks that there is a need to have a British welfare state. So no matter how, what it means that whether it's even though it's not reliable that the healthcare system is the TikTok conditions, well done. More doctors and nurses, no queuing out. Everything is fine. Every patient will be taken care of. Nonsense. Based on your now your general knowledge and your contextual knowledge, you know that there's not a possibility like this. Even in Singapore, no matter how good it is, you cannot be everyone. That's why now you, if you want to go and see doctor, you must make appointment. But if you, that person is so damn sick, they say, I cannot really, I need to go and see doctor. Of course, there'll be a doctor reserved for this kind of emergency case, but you need to take a longer time. Okay? Just like my last Sunday, my, my father-in-law was like very bad, very, very seriously very bad. So no choice. My brother-in-law had to send to my father-in-law to the Tan Tong Seng Hospital emergency cases. Later, what you, had, you know what happened? You found out? I told you right, 
intestine bleeding and stomach got a tumor. Next day, when I bought my breakfast, I saw a message that my cousin passed away from breast cancer. I was buying my breakfast. I was in the lift. When the lift door opened, I was just stuck there. I was like, holy shit. A seven years relapse of breast cancer. And she passed away at 58 years old. And the joking part is that uh, my niece is a doctor. That means her daughter is a doctor. It's like, huh? How come? You see? And they are staying in New Zealand, no? They are, New Zealand, their healthcare is also pretty good. I think it's free. So how come? It's very simple. We still need a system. We still need to provide. Whether you are sick or no, not sick, uh, whether emergency or not, the system must be there. It's just that the person, how you do it. Very simple. Uh. I think four of you, you all got general office uh, in, in, in school, right? But you only go to general office to do what, Kevin? Don't tell me the four years never been to general office. Huh? I go general office like almost every day because oh, I don't shoot the keys for my class. Ah, okay. Uh, um, Mei Mei say she go to general office to liao liao sang. Because she every time see her husband is fighting, she goes to G G G O to sit down and relax. Okay, fair enough. Wang Kang, how about you? How often do you go to general office? Uh, not very often. Like, I go if... Uh, I what is the purpose friend. when you go to G GO, general office? Uh, like return, like if I borrow a skirt, then I go return. Or if like... Lost and found huh? sometimes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you, you, you are drenched, then your whole body is wet or things like that. You change the, 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 the spare uh, uniform. Okay. How about, yeah, uh, anymore? No more? Uh, sometimes, like, uh, if you've got, like, make, just as make announcement, then you can go general office. To sign, yeah, correct, thank you. How about you, Raymond? How often do you go to the general office? Oh, uh, I've never been to a general office. Huh? Yeah, I've never been to a general office. You mean your four years never been to general office? Yeah, never, like, never. Then, then if there's anything, where do you go to? Staff room. Uh, my mom bring me to either like the polyclinic or like KK. Hello, brother. I'm talking about general office in school, uh, bro. Oh, general office. Oh, that one, uh, no. Huh? No. You don't go to the general office in the school to, to do something like like like, like, like you lost uh, someone lost a wallet. You found a wallet. You return. Go. No, to like never. Never. Uh? Yeah. Then, then do you go to your to visit the staff room? To see your teacher? Uh, let's say like, like once or twice. Uh. Once or twice, right? So you see, mm. uh, no matter how like Raymond's who don't go to general office, the general office still had to open there, correct? Uh, Gavin? Yeah. Well, why? For people who do something just like the healthcare. So maybe you don't need anything from general office. Yeah, maybe you, you think that, yeah, I go and see teacher care with me. Uh, even I lost, uh, I found some lo uh, person lost a wallet or a, a handphone. I may not want to go to general office. I may want to pass to my dis discipline master or I pass to my teacher. Get it? Huh? Thank you. So you see, healthcare system is still a must. Okay. <clears throat> Things to remember. Take note. Huh? I may not want to go through this again in September or August or September. Next two months will be really drilling you. Huh? So always make a match cross reference. You still. I don't care how. I would like to see your paper when you submit, when you're doing usefulness and reliability. You must cross-reference. Cross-reference and link work, this is true, as it is supported by, this is not true, as it's not supported by. Please take a picture if you want to and put it in your handphones or later you can copy it. Cross-reference to contextual knowledge, which is the background information so or even your textbook. Knowing much must be to be specific in an incident or events. Next, you only need to take one evidence from the source and cross-refer to one evidence for another source. So you see, just like Raymond, it sounds like taking a court case. Your Honor, my client is innocent because I have evidence to prove that he was not there. It's the alibi saying that that day he was with a friend celebrating his son's, his friend's son's birthday at this time, at this place, and there was picture taken, there was witnesses. Okay, so cross-referencing. Two steps to check, checking reliability, cross-refer and detect the purpose. 
Why do you think the purpose is reliable to support that this source is not useful? Or why is it the source is reliable, this source is useful? You have to really take a look at it. Number one, check the provenance. Whether this person is by a British Prime Minister, say that health minister, or a normal citizen who say this, so understand, huh? Okay, have you taken your picture in three, two, one? I'm going to stop this. I'm going to look at uh, Raymond's essay again. Just give me a minute to open up the file. Okay, let's go. Wait. Let's go to Wang Kang. I done this already, right? We I go to last week. Everything, all the questions. I can't remember. Is it correct? Huh? Yes, huh? okay, thank you. Then where is Raymond? <laughs> Raymond. Let's go. Uh, okay. I can infer from source A that Smart Nation has brought convenience to individuals in Singapore. This can be seen from source A, where it illustrates a few self paying terminals at a food court, uh, where people could pay using their mobile phones instead of using cash or, and coins. A more high tech medium is employed. This suggests that individuals now enjoy the luxury of reduced trouble and more waiting time as they could now more quickly order and collect their food. And this further depicts how individuals could convenient uh, themselves through harnessing the power of technology. Hence, Source A tells me that Smart Nation has brought conveniences to individuals in Singapore. I would prefer to, to individual um, instead of individual, I would prefer that source A tells me that source, sorry, one more time. Hence, source A tells me that smart nation has brought convenience to consumer in Singapore. Okay, because as a consumer, I may not want this type of a system. I, mean, I find it more troublesome. I'm not IT savvy. Okay, I might think that, oh, no, 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 this is not my cup of tea. I don't like to use technology. I prefer paying cash. So it's depending on the high service consumer. Uh, consumers are able to use this system in their convenience and things like that. Okay. All right. So uh, thank you. Next one, um, comparison skill. Raymond? Uh, sources B and C are similar as both sources claim that Smart Nation has brought challenges for Singapore. Source B states that there will be significant digital disruption effect, e affecting non-high technology and non-high tech industries. This implies that Smart Nation has made it difficult for certain sectors in Singapore as their progress and stability are impacted. Similarly, Source C states that we saw a lack of safe, convenient, and affordable transport uh, tra of transport options. This suggests that Smart Nation has had a negative influence on the standard of transport that is valid to people. Very good. Huh? Continue to write this kind of um, structures. It's my maintain it and uh, maintain it. But my, my advice are, boy, uh, mm. uh, where is it? Uh, um, the magic word like hands and therefore, can you please underline? Uh, just like mm. this, like that, the hands are uh, underlined in your exam, uh, not just your prelim, uh, in your old level exam to tell you, hello, excuse me, I'm talking about level three now, the LOMS. Okay, remember to underline. Okay, let's go. Okay, sources B and C are different in terms of impact as source B states that 
um, source B states that uh, small nation will have an undesirable impact on Singapore, while source C states that uh, the smart nation will have a positive impact. I like the way, sorry to interrupt you, uh, you put undesirable impact. Instead of using smart nation will have a negative impact, and then say source C states that smart nation will have a positive impact. Instead of putting negative and positive impact, you use undesirable impact, which is, doesn't mean it's negative totally. It's undesirable. To some people, it might be interested. Uh, this is really, uh, honestly, not many students will run the right like that because most of the students will say negative and positive impact, which I don't mm. find anything wrong to put undesirable. Correct? Now. Just for example, uh, who is the, who, what kind of person do not eat beef? Uh? Hmm. The Hindu... The Hindus. That's all, man. And some vegetarians and That's vegans. That's all, man. And. You don't buy si mian for put and si new roma. No. Now you know, ah. You know, ah, Raymond. Mm. Hey, by the way, you know, some of the si mian for my Wang Kang and Gavin and Mimi. Ah, seriously, I don't know, ah. We do your si mian for. 对对，真的，哎，不要，哎，不要笑哈，please，don't啊，这是泰国神来的哈，四面佛就是，你你去泰啊，the and you go and check, uh, got one lady say that uh, if you can make my husband to be successful and good, uh, I will dance naked in front of you. And there's so many from, uh, no, 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 this is not going to be able to tell you. I just want to check, I just want to check, I just check, you don't believe in check. And I think she is a famous Hong Kong leader. So what happened after her husband is successful, she has to wait to wait to wait to wait to block it and then she dance naked in front of them. So this kind of thing, 不可以乱乱讲话的，这个不要笑哈，please。这个是哎，这是神的东西啊，印度泰国神啊， it's very powerful one. Even I'm a Catholic, ah, please, I mean Christian, ah,这个真的很很很 serious. So because you know why, remember I know my step father actually is by the side of God. Yeah, thanks, bro. Okay. So another group of Raymond and Wang Kang, Gavin, you might laugh at me. Uh. Uncle Raymond loved to eat beef. Uh. But when it comes to the year of the cow, uh, the whole year I never eat beef. <laughs> Raymond, <laughs> Gavin, you think it's very strange. When it's the new year, I don't eat beef. Okay, carry on. Shall we? Okay. Shall we say that ICT, in fact, already has some one... Uh, 14,000 vacancies which come in. You can write a little bit. If you don't want to write bigger, okay, but thank God, social study is marked in Singapore, so they'll mark your original script. But if you are submitting this paper to British Cambridge for your English, good luck to you. Okay, write bigger. And don't... Are you using black color ink? Yes. Why not next time when you submit your homework, use a blue color ink? You're a bit better. Okay, carry on. Mm, okay, I see uh, one 14,000 uh, vacancies, which conveys that there is a severe lack of professionals that specialize in the realm of technology and that it will need a lot of effort and measures to nurture these personnel. On the contrary, uh, Saucy states that, uh, oh, so Saucy states that we can end up playing uh, rich role in a smart nation journey and everyone will gain the future which in, this implies that all people are part of this initiative meaning that everyone will have a chance will have a share of the pie and will benefit from smart nation your hmm. own handwriting ah huh? so be careful oh, raymond yes you have to, it's okay. You, it's your handwriting is not very bad, uh, to be honest. It's just that it's a little bit more small. So you have to write it. Nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Mm. So good. I think the uh, whole overall for these questions, yes, I'm so sorry. I will never give full marks. No matter, unless you are so good until I say yes, 
you deserve the full marks. Okay, I'm not against you. Huh? Anybody are listening, when, when Uncle Raymond give you full marks, means you better write this answer down and get ready for your exam. Okay. All right. So thank you for the differentiations from source B and C difference and similar. Yes. For goodness sake, I repeat, during your compa comparison skills, you must have one paragraph similar and one paragraph difference. And the third paragraph, usually your purpose and the tone. Okay. Come, let's go, Raymond. Oh. See, overall, Source D is more reliable as evidence that Singapore is not ready to be a smart nation. Source D is a comment made by a retiree, meaning that it is not within his interest to defend any side of the contention. Given that he is just a re retiree, he is expected to possess a neutral stand in the argument. In Source D, the commenter uses two-sided terms such as considered quite backward and acknowledges that Singapore is moving towards something something. I think this is very good. This shows that he has knowledge on both sides of the argument is giving a balance of opinion of, of three or four buyers. This is further supported by the fact that his point is objective and he is able to identify crucial problems to be settled or solved in Singapore's journey to becoming a smart nation. Stop, For example, stop. Please write down this part here all the way, copy somewhere. If you had the paper, you're very good. I like the word, a balanced opinion, free of bias. It's a knowledge on both sides. That means you know the two sides of the point. Okay? You know what is the advantages and disadvantages. You know what is the good things. Thank you. Copy down somewhere. Yeah. All right, carry on. Hmm. This further suggests he has not, his knowledge on the topic makes him credible. So it makes it a credible source and his opinion is free from bias. Since source D is, uh, by, uh, is all right is wait, well, unbiased and objective it is thus justified that source D is very reliable okay mm. yeah i thought you 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 where you say just now this is further supported by the fact that his point is objective and is able to identify who sure can hear sentiment singapore what is this word journey journey to becoming okay be careful huh? oh. nations. for example he claims that who is the key ah now i realize okay must be specific hmm. Okay, yeah, key, yeah. And then uh doesn't have the cash pay. This further suggests, I like this. Good one. That means this is further supported now. Okay, source ego. Source E, on the other hand, is an open statement made by DBS, the chief information officer, is which is a very highly ranked position. Are you allowed this... to write this? Source E is an open statement. Are you allowed to write this word, this type of word? Yes, ah. Maybe say yes, ah. Yeah. Can, can ah. One count also can ah. One count. Does your teacher allow you to say open statement? Uh, I don't know. You can never say anything about it. No, no, no. Cannot say I don't know. You, you must say, Uncle Raymond, I think I will go and find out to make sure. Uh, Mimi say, uh, he don't, she doesn't know, but he said, I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Oh, yeah, that's what she said. You don't believe it, I can cut and paste and show you. That's what he typed. Instead of asking him her things like that, he said, I'm a Barbie girl, Barbie world. Oh, my goodness. So much fun, I want Barbie toys. Uh, honestly, Wang Kang, Mian Mian, and uh, Gavin, nothing wrong to use the open statements, but I, I'm just not sure. How this open statement see are you answering to the question? Or, you can say like, uh, so it must be goes to the point. Be careful. So it is usually um the it's like a yes or no, things like that. Uh open statements is like using like what I mentioned is in the court. Okay, so there's an open typicality. How how do I know? It's, it's like open statement. So we shall decide yes or no. So I'm telling you now, you answer to the point, yes or no. Is source is a is a, a highly so does it support or not? Mean by ma, right? Mm. Okay, so be careful, ah. Huh? Please check with your teacher again. Is it okay to use open statements in source based question? Back to you. This means that he is. This means that he is expected to defend his position, but an interest by stating that Singapore is actively working towards uh being a smart nation. Evidently, source E was one side uses one sided terms. Like doing well in this aspect, and if we didn't act quickly, we should we would soon be irrelevant. The above is a bias is bias 
as it is trying to paint a rosy picture that DBS and Singapore are taking active steps of becoming a smart nation with its hidden agenda would be to convince the general public of Singapore to support their movement into becoming a smart nation. Given that Source E is, has a hidden agenda, I have reason to believe that it may be biased and unobjective and thus it is not reliable. This one you can say that. Uh. Let me put this up. Uh, can I say three times? Uh? Listen, uh, whatever you're doing, please pay attention now. Okay, I'm serious. I'm very serious and I'm super serious. Now, Raymond, when you are writing this, it's because of the DBS Chief Executive Officer. Fine. Or Chief uh, Information Officer. Fine. You can say he has a hidden agenda. You can say that because he's representing a bank. So it's the very typicality, right? Because it's mm. about that. <clears throat> hey, please, man, man, don't joke. Huh? Because... Really, because the next paragraph when Raymond is going to say something, it's going to be very, very dangerous. Okay? So take note, this is okay for you to say that, okay, he got hidden agenda because it's a, a, a typicality of a government. Okay, right? Let's go. Huh. Source F is useful in telling me that Singapore is becoming a smart nation, as it is reliable. Source F states that, now, at last, we have one single unified service called PayNow, this conveys how Singapore is using technology to enhance the convenience of her citizens, indicating steps towards becoming a smart nation. Since Source F is reliable, it is useful. I like that. So just now, you you see, Uncle Raymond, you see the usefulness that the slide in the PowerPoint is the similar this. So therefore, use three words, therefore, hands and task. Okay, this config, therefore, is reliable because it's useful, something like that. Huh? Since Source is reliable, mm -hmm. therefore, it is useful. So the best is since source F is that you can say, therefore, since source A is the reliable, it is useful. Or you can say since source F is reliable and therefore it is useful. Carry on. Mm, source S is source F is useful as it is supported by the background information. Background well done, information well states that computer usage among seniors aged 60 and above in Singapore has risen to 27% in 2014 from 16% in 2012. This suggests that the implementation and initiation of technological devices has increased even among the elderly, indicating that Smart Nation is stepping towards success through, uh, through more people using technology. Since the background information supports Source F, Source F is reliable and thus useful. Yeah. This yeah. is so far so good. Huh? This is the one most tricky part. Please take note of this and uh, go. Yeah. Ultimately, Source F is not useful. Source F is a speech made by the Prime Minister of Singapore. Being of such a high position, it is within his interest to defend his stand that Singapore is becoming a smart nation for the benefit of the nation. Source F states that we must simplify and integrate our systems, conveying that he is trying to convince Singaporeans that Singapore should move on to becoming a smart nation. The intended effect would be for Singaporeans to support him in the matter and thus drive the transition of becoming a smart nation to support, uh, drive a smart nation. <clears throat> Given that there is a hidden agenda, this source may be unobjective, objective, making it unreliable and hence not useful. Mm. So let's go back to your uh, talk, okay? So, um. Raymond, it's okay to say that um, if you don't agree with it, but you have to say that uh, you need to cross-reference to say why. Where is your cross-referencing? You did not have a cross-referencing. I just I didn't say, uh, you need to have cross-reference to say why you don't agree, uh, you, are, you think this is not right. Nothing wrong, but it's best to cross-referencing. Usually, when our prime minister or our presidents or our people were saying that, there is a reason for that. Actually, it's a 3E is to enthuse, to create enthusiasm, encouragement, and also uh, ent enticing people to use the system. Uh, okay, let's move on. Mm, okay, using Source A, I agree. Source A depicts, uh, depicts a, a few self-paying self yeah, self terminals at a local food court, which implies that Singapore is employing high-tech devices at different places within its borders, which indicates it's successful transition to a smart nation using technology. Uh, using stop, 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 stop. I think, uh, Raymond, uh, I don't know about you. I'm very OCD. Uh. 
I don't like to carrot and put the, the words below here. Remember, look here. Mm. Don't put here. My advice is why not from now all of you when you write social study or English, write one line, leave one line, write one line, leave one line. So when you carrot out, you can put the word on top. Because mm. as a marker, I prefer the words this one to be on top here. Okay? Uh, sorry, mm. this is a bit of little things, things I, have, I just want to share with you. Carry on. Mm, okay. Using source D, I, I disagree. Source D states that the key hindrance is that different shops use different apps for cashless and some shops don't even have cashless, pay, uh, cashless payment machines. This means that there are still challenges to be solved on Singapore's road to becoming a smart nation. Using Source E, I agree. Source E states that banks had uh, to innovate and integrate our systems or risk dying. We are currently uh, doing well in this aspect. This demonstrates that corporations in Singapore are successful in utilizing technology and their algorithms, indicating that they have been lucrative in becoming a smart nation. Well done. I love this, to be honest. I like the way you say the algorithms and things like that. But I like the way you put every source in. Uh. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you put every source in. Uh. Don't tell me your teacher say choose one or two sources. No, uh, I totally disagree. Uh. I want all sources to be way. Uh. Okay, I don't want to hear your. I don't tell me my teacher say no, leh, Uncle Raymond. My teacher say two enough or two four, two yes, two no. No, 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 no. I will not listen to your, your thing. I'm so sorry. I'm very OCD. I'm very stubborn. I want you to weigh all sources. And then you don't tell me, uh, Gavin, no time, uh, Uncle Raymond. No, no, no. Don't give me that kind of uh, crap story. You don't tell me you got no time. Weigh everything. Trust me. You will never regret. Because if you have this attitude to have to, to wish your teachers say that it's nothing wrong, nothing wrong. If you want to do with your teachers, please don't kind of tell me your, my, your teachers say that. For me, weigh all the sources. Final. Period. Let's go. Hmm. However, source E is unreliable. Source E is an open statement made by DBS Chief Information Officer, which is a highly, very highly ranked position. This means that it is within his interest to defend his position and stand that Singapore is moving towards becoming a smart nation. Throughout source E, he uses one-sided terms like doing well in this aspect, and if we don't didn't act quickly, we would soon be irrelevant. The above may be biased and unobjective, as it is painting a rosy picture that Singapore and DBS are taking active steps in becoming a smart nation. Its intended outcome would be to convince Singaporeans to support them in moving towards a smart nation. Given that Source E has a hidden agenda, it is justified that it may be biased, which makes Source E unreliable. This one I agree, eh? especially uh, this is open uh, recording. Uh. There's another bank, it's called uh, United Overseas Bank. Uh. Da Hua, da Hua Yin Hang. Okay, mm. if you know this, uh, I can tell you this is openly and this is recording. Uh, I hate the bloody bank. I hate the bloody bank. Every time I say, we are side credit card, ma, I say, I hate your bank. They was like, Wang Kang, there's one time during Chinese New Year, I own the bank about less than $500. I forgot to pay even the minimum sum, uh, just about less than one week. Straight away, I got a lawyer like letter from the bank. Kelvin, it's not five million or five hundred thousand or five thousand dollars, five hundred less. Then I received a lawyer letter. Of all the time, it's during Chinese New Year. You don't have to pay not to pay for it. So I call them. I'm sorry. I I just pay the minimum now. No, no, no. You either pay everything or you will get sued. You think how? Pay everything. I say I pay the minimum. Fifty quai lah. Right? Ma? Right? Ma? There's a minimum. Right? No, 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 you pay everything now. If not, uh, the second lawyer letter will get sued. You'll get to see you in court. Wow, that's it, man, bro. <laughs> okay. I was quite poor at that time. I borrow, I beg, I ask for people. I clear the bank. If you are listening, uh, United Overseas Bank, you are sucks, man. Sorry, <laughs> I'm telling you. This is the experience I have with your bank. $500. You can check in the system now if you have, if you have my record now. Okay? And from there onwards, whether I do any loans, uh, my, start, my son study loans, renovation loans, or whatever personal loans, no matter how good your interest is, I will never take your bank. So sorry. Uh, this is my personal opinion. So one can, 
they say that Raymond and Galvin and Mimi, this is a true story for me. Okay, and this is recording. Okay, uh, I've been keeping it for many years. So from that, once you have this, once bitten, twice shy, you heard this before, right? 一时被蛇咬十年怕惊死啊对咯所以我你听我多少钱几万钱我连看都不要看你 give me no confidence mm. right Raymond you agree <coughs> yes 相信一个bank you submit 这样现在这样 oh, forget it 不是很多钱呢 Less than 500块,你要送一个律师信给我 Oh, come on, man Really ridiculous, Wang Kang, right? Right, and ridiculous, seriously Last one, my dear, carry on, finish it mm, Using Saucy, I disagree Saucy states that the challenge with Smart Nation is that it looks complicated and we saw a lack of safe, convenient and affordable of trans options This in part of Smart Nation has in turn brought about Probable uh, problems for Singapore, which makes it inconvenient for Singapore to operate smoothly. Smoothly and successfully, if you can write these two words. Oh, by the mm. way, I should thank you for this paragraph here. Huh? You know why, Raymond? Because when I mark this, uh, I told myself, Raymond, I mm. want to take this opportunity to talk about the United Overseas Bank. <laughs> so oh. thanks to, yeah, seriously. Because the moment I mark this, it give me the reflections of all this, this that the bank I have very poor relationship with them. So I should thank you for this opportunity. The one space gave me to release my stress and my uh, cannot take it. That's why, oh, you see, my hair fell so much. Oh, you don't have to put your hair in. Oh, you really are not healthy. You have so many hairs. Oh, 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 you have so many hairs. Okay, let's go for this, uh, children. Uh, honestly, uh, I know if you are having an exam, I need this question to be done. Uh. Okay, maybe you have not been doing any homework for the past six months. I already told my colleagues already. If you're not going to do any homework, then uh, if you cannot make B4, you, you think B4 is good, then okay. Lah. All right, so the rest of the three of you, please complete your homework unless you tell me you got WA. So if you cannot hand in next week, I will still make sure you can hand in by anytime in August because I I got a very high feeling uh, that this question may come out in your real old level exam. I got a very high feeling. Similar, something like that, uh, something like that. Okay, like this one about you know, uh, citizenship and governments, about this kind of things. Uh. Because recently, mm -hmm. a lot of people talking about aging populations. I feel that you look at the past year questions. Uh, okay, I done my homework already. Uh. So this is only uh, SRQ, okay? SRQ only. Right, so I feel it. Say like you see, like all these questions recently, the government talk about the GST voucher la, the the COVID nineteen uh, uh, what budgets la, and um, uh, recently about the GST high, all these things uh, and also about uh, BTO, uh, built to order flats and things like that. So there's a, quite a feelings that this kind of question will come up. So my advice is go through it, and uh, the answer. Did I go through the answer now? No, right? I don't think so, huh? Right, Gavin? No, huh? So next, I will keep this. This will be, in fact, I don't want to overflow to next month, August. Huh? I right, actually want to finish by today, but thanks to uh, Raymond's homework that go through. So I will go through this one one last time next month. Whether you hand in homework or not, it's not my issue. Really. As I, I, my gut feels that this kind of question may come up in your own level. Okay, that's my gut feel. Huh? So if you want to do, of course, you know, if you do, it's good for you. If you don't want to do, I really tell you, it's, it's definitely good for you. You can do it. So, is but Uncle Raymond, next week I got exam. Like, I cannot do this. Never mind, never mind. It's okay. Finish your exam, then you submit to me. But can I say, at least you submit to me. Lah, okay, that's my thing. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay, bye-bye, Mian Mian. Uh, wait, let me stop recording.